Today we're making bacon cheeseburger soup. All the goodness of a bacon cheeseburger in a soup. So let's get started. So let's start off by rendering down one pound of bacon. Once our bacon is thoroughly rendered down, we're gonna drain it and set it aside. Now we're gonna brown one pound of 80-20 ground chuck and one tablespoon of reserved bacon grease. Now we're gonna saute one medium yellow onion for about three to four minutes. Now we're gonna add a tablespoon of chicken base, about a quarter cup of flour. Now we're gonna incorporate all the flour and the chicken base in with the ground beef. Once all the flour is incorporated into the ground beef, we're gonna add two cups of water. Now we're gonna give this a mix until it begins to thicken. Now we're gonna add two cups of milk. Now we're gonna give this a mix and bring it up to a boil. Now I have one 16 ounce block of Velveeta cheese that I've cut up into small pieces. We're gonna add this in. Stir this in, get all the cheese incorporated, bring it up to a simmer, and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. After simmering for 20 minutes, we're going to season with salt and pepper, and our soup is done. Alright, now it's time to go ahead and finish our bacon cheeseburger soup with some bacon. Now trust me on this next ingredient, as odd as it looks and sounds, we're going to add a handful of lettuce. And it really works in this soup. I mean, after all, you put lettuce on a bacon cheeseburger sandwich, don't you? So why not in your bacon cheeseburger soup? A handful of chopped up tomatoes. Last but not least, what does just about everybody put on their hamburgers and cheeseburgers? Pickles. We're going to add a handful of chopped up pickles. And I was real skeptical about adding these to the soup, but the pickles really, really made the soup work. And there you have it, bacon cheeseburger soup. All the goodness of a bacon cheeseburger and a soup. If this looks like something you'd like to try at home, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give this a try, and I'll see you next time.